slow and easy down, slower and easy up. This is definitely going into the gorge. Knuckles yet? Oh, I've got a freaking <laughs> headache just stressing out over this stupid rug and then the brakes not working because I don't, now the switch is, I, I got everything done so everything's good. I, that's why I cut my hair so damn short because you wouldn't see it turn gray in 15 minutes. <laughs> so that was pretty sketchy coming down that uh, hill. And we pulled over, the brakes were, you guys couldn't see them smoking, but they were smoking and, ooh, they smelt bad. Come to find out our trailer brakes were not engaging. Okay, so here we are. Um, I assume we go this way. Yeah, hopefully we can find something that we can fit into. It's yeah, very, there's not very many people here at all. I don't know where the river is from here. I think the river is right over there. I think there's only like 11 spots here. Gotta have garbage. Hopefully we can find something in the shade. Um, well, deer. Oh, did you guys see the deer? Pretty. All right, well, I know we can get somewhat in there if we have to. There are bear here, my understanding. There you are, you're beautiful. There's one there, number three. I like this one here, but we've got two little tiny pecker trees right there. Um, I don't know if we can get close enough, and we've got some low lying branches. <laughs> he was really sketched out coming down that hill, you guys. I did research it a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, I told him it was a pretty steep climb out of the gorge, so that man was a... Well, I'll be even more adventurous. <laughs> I was... I'll, I'll drag this little shadow wherever I want to go now. Shadow did very well, except Shadow's brakes didn't work very well for us. Except what? Shadow's brakes didn't work very well for us. That was somehow, I, I don't know what happened there. Right, it's just well. like when I hit the switch on the power selector and turned it way up and it was smoking the clutch. So now that's figured out and it's new to us you guys we're still learning everything but this will be cool in here yeah let's get this one I like it 
This is just right outside of our camp. Came down a little trail. Pretty. This is like bath water. <laughs> so, right here in our area, it's all rocky. Beautiful. Rapids. Around the corner down there in the other part of the park, it's all sand. So we'll go down there eventually, but there's a lot of people down there today. Oh my gosh. I was just sitting over here in this pool. And Scott, I heard something. Did you throw a rock? No. no. Oh my God. Scotty gently came, picked me up out of that water. He said, let's go, let's go. I thought it was a freaking bear. It was a snake under the water swimming. Oh my God. He was so close to me. Where is he? Right there. His head's popping up. He's just laying on that rock right there. Oh, I was just sitting there too. He just, he had to have swam like right by me. Oh, uh, I'm done. I'm done playing in the water. Only for today. Oh no, I'm not getting back in the water. I was worried about leeches. No, I had no idea that there were snakes in the water here. Oh, Punky, we're done. Mommy's going home. Man, he is just sitting there. Ooh, he's moving though. Nope, Scotty, he's moving. I see where he's going. I think I disturbed him. Oh, man. I didn't even know that they could live under the water like that. Well, they hold their breath. Yeah, I'm done. We gotta go down to the sandy area. Nope, I'm done. Scotty, please stay away from him. I don't know what kind of snake he is. Not a cotton mouth, because they're black. I don't care. I'm ready to go back. I don't care how hot it is in our rig. I'm ready to go back. We do. We did come back and uh, we've got neighbors. Oh, I see. They're in their big rig and then they've got the tent over here for the kids. Yeah, I'm done playing in the water uh, where the rocks are. Uh, I'll go down to where the uh, beach is. There's sand down there, but this is our back view. Isn't that gorgeous? Just all woods. I asked the neighbor who was here. He's been, he was here for a couple weeks. I asked him if he saw any bear and he said no. Uh, raccoons come out at night and play around and the deer and obviously the snakes. <laughs> I knew there were snakes here but I did not know they were in the water like that. <laughs> These people in the tent are probably like, what is going on? He's got a job and he's getting it done. <laughs> oh, they left. No, they were here this morning. <laughs> Get up. It's lawn mowing time. <laughs> going to go for a scenic drive. Actually, we're trying to find cell service. Beautiful area, very quiet. Um, of course, no cell service, but you know, sometimes that works for the best. It was just exploring. Seen much wild wildlife already. Terry's kind of seen more than she wanted to, but hey. Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> turn to get the camper down. What is that? I don't know, some kind of... Oh, it's a graveyard. I think it is. Ooh. What kind of creepy? Grand 
Review Sandbar, Drive-In Campsites, Walking Campsites. First come, first serve? It says, as of next year, some of these are going to be walked up. This would be a little sketchy for us. These are not very big sites. They're pretty, pretty tiny sites. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to probably get past that tree. They're pretty short. Uh, we'd have a really hard time coming through here. I would not suggest a big rig coming up in here. I mean, maybe you could do it. I don't think we would try it. Oh, yeah, I would. Yeah. I mean, that one I could probably fit in, but where is the truck going to go? That's a good size one. Um, but once again, coming around that, these trees, around this loop, it would be kind of sketchy. You could probably do it, but you could find yourself in a big pickle if you are much bigger than what we are. And we're 34. And a big pickle jar <laughs> full of pickles. So they have bare trash here. And what I mean by that is that their trash is locked for bear protection. Camping here by reservation only, no first come for serve. Oh, be so they set it up there too, so they're going to be reservation only before you know it. Here's the tenting, so you park right here in this area and then you walk down and set yeah. your tents up. Right on the river. Yeah. Very nice. Very cool. So once again, it's called Grandview Sandbar Campground. Not very big, but it's something. And I, I, like I said, I would not recommend big, big rigs down there. Now that we've driven through, I don't think I would try to go down there with our rig. No, no. This is something else. So we went to town. Well, we didn't even go to town. There's just a little store up the road about, oh, I don't know, uh, Watch it, watch it, watch it. Holy moly. Um, I think there might be a tornado. <laughs> Something's happening. Oh, power line. That's the stress line. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Excuse our language, guys. We are blocked out. Why do I have this weird feeling? Oh my god, we can't get back there. Oh, there's whole trees up there too. Our awning is out too. So, um, I don't know if we should even be parked right here. <laughs> Woo! Um, I know it's crazy. I know I'm stuck up in that, my camper's up there. So, I'm gonna find his little spot. Okay, I'm a little nervous about these trees since there's two up there. Um, that was really weird. We, um, watch it, there's those what? power lines, remember? It's not the power lines, it's stressful. Okay, wow. Um, so we went up about 20, I guess about 20 minutes or so to get service. We wanted to get our last video out to you. And that's uh, lightning. Let me just park right here. They've got a fence right there. Are you going to turn around? I'm just going to sit here for a minute. Alright, we're in, we're in somebody's parking area, their house. I'm sure it's <laughs> do not Jeffy. trespass, but the thing is, we want to get away from these trees. Coming down. Okay, I'm going to put you guys out further. Um, okay, calm down. Wow. I, I seriously think that that was like a microburst. You know, it obviously just happened because he came running out when the tree came down. So we're very fortunate and the one in front that we didn't get stuck between them. Yeah. We might end up going home and having no um, awning. <laughs> well, at least it's a flex one, so. Yeah. It looks like it's gone. I wondered what had hit 
the back back there in the truck and the bed. A branch probably. What is it? Oh, nothing. Okay. So, um, it wasn't like this. It, it's been hot and humid all day and just about, I don't know, about two, three minutes ago, Scotty and I were like, man, it's really getting dark. He turned his lights on just to come down this road because it got really dark. And then you guys, I think you guys saw the, the limbs and stuff flying all over. Um, there's thunder. So we Look at that tree's gone too right there. Oh my gosh. I do not know what just came through here, but... Good thing we bought some sandwiches. <laughs> oh, you guys can't see a whole lot. The, the wind isn't as crazy as it was. I just got to keep this rolled up or I'm going to get sopping wet. Yeah. I think that that was like a microburst. Something. Or something happened. All right, we're just gonna sit here. We, uh. Wow. It's Who's really... that money's on a freaking system that will. What's really kind of scary is that the river's right here, and there are a group of people coming down this river in rafts. I could see them when we crossed the bridge. Well, that's a big tree right there. Oh, you can't even keep the windshield wiper going fast oh, enough to even, this is just cool. insane. Lots of humidity. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. lightning. All right, well, we went to Subway and we got veggie, bur veggie uh, sandwiches, so I guess we're just going to sit here well, and have start. some lunch. Pumpkin, of course, is just taking it in stride. I don't think we're too far from walking. If I have to, I'll walk. Uh, we're not getting out in this well, weather. Not, not, not I mean, now. not with trees coming down. Awnings can be replaced. Human life cannot. Well, you guys can't see very well. I'm not going to roll the window down. Scotty's with the neighbor um, that lives over here in this house over here that you can barely see. He came over here to check on us. And Scotty just told him, we're just going to sit here because, uh, one, we don't want to be on the road, for sure. So we'll see what Scotty says when he gets back. I don't know what to do. I am nervous about our trailer, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, so the, the neighbor here, Peter... Um, he said he'd give us a ride down to side by side, and I was like, "Yeah, but look at there's another tree right there, but I think it's up there further." So he's gonna call this guy who lives across and let him know, "Hey, there's no power. This is what's going on. These guys are sitting here. We got about a mile to walk. If we have to walk it. I'm gonna lock it up and do whatever because this is gonna be who knows how long it take for them to open this up." Okay, so we're so. gonna walk. Man, I wish I would have brought a jacket and some boots. There is a jacket back here. Okay. But, I mean, we're not going to walk in the rain. I have my I'm, summer clothes on. We'll wait for the storm to go by. I'm not... All right. Maybe they'll come out and we'll get on have, the ball or we'll whatever. We'll just have... <laughs> we'll have lunch. Yeah. What the hell? It's almost dinner. Mm -hmm. Um, I do... I think I have a couple little treats in here for her, so we'll be okay. So, uh, Debbie, another neighbor down here. These people are so very nice. Um... Came over and said, there's this tree down, another tree down, another tree down, but they're going to work to clear, and I'll go help them, uh, a couple of them. Then I guess I can go to her property and come up around the third tree. They're estimating they're not even going to get power for another week because I forget, she two, called a boo. They didn't call it a boo. Or, yeah, that are on top of she this She called mountain. it a Hiroshima or, Hiroshima or something, something like that, but it was, I would call it 
a tornado came through here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would say. We're just so blessed um, that we didn't get hit by anything. Her husband, they live a house in back of this house here, and her husband had looked up the mountain and saw it coming, and he ran out and moved his van. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know exactly what the name of what she called it. It started with an H. So maybe some of you guys know who live in these areas. But uh, they saw it coming. And man, we drove right into it, not knowing what it was. Oh gosh, it's not ending. So basically, it came up over this mountain. Here's the mountaintop way up there. This thing came down and hit here. So you have this tree that snapped off. It tilted that tree. I'll go down here and see if I can see further up. Uh, the gentleman that owns the property and everything is across the way. And I think like we said that the neighbor um, that was talking to us, Pete, uh, said he'd let him know that we we're here. We'll just see if anything down further went in the water. See? Nothing. And nothing over on that side. Oh, we just... I don't know if we timed it well or timed it terrible to get on the other side, but I guess we'll have to walk down. You can see it just went, it went through. You can, back in there, broken trees and just bizarre. Just bizarre. All I can say is thank you, Lord, for keeping me, me and Terry out of harm's danger. And at this time, it looks like everybody's okay out here, but tell you what, that was... That was as close to being in a tornado as I've ever seen because it just, it went from beautiful to, to dark to uh, freaking windier and all, get out, so. You can see and you can, you can hear it. We're gonna have to walk. I don't think it's gonna stop raining anytime soon, so. We're going to we'll get like the bullet minutes. and we're going. All right, finally some help has come. We were just kind of packing up what we could to take with us to leave our truck here and walk down there. All right. Yay, there's the chainsaw. You can see how big that tree was that landed in, the na in uh, Pete's yard over here. Right on. Scotty's going to go over there. He, I feel so bad for him. He's not dressed to do that. But he's going to go over and see if he can help. Um, Pete is out there helping. I am going to stay here because pumpkin will just be too hot in here. And I can't leave the window down because it's going to, you know, sometimes it starts really raining. Um, at least we're going to hopefully get home tonight. I told Scotty I feel like a pansy sitting here. I'm not used to that. I'm used to getting out there and helping. Although I do end up regretting that the next morning. <laughs> I don't regret helping, but I, um, I'm in a lot of pain the next day. With my hip from bending up and down, but it's, I never mind helping. Scotty never minds helping either. He's always helping. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Scotty. <laughs> Pete just asked the um, per, the road crew. It. He said, "Do you think you can cut just a little bit more of this tree?" And I'm assuming that's so people can get through. Maybe with the trailers and stuff down here. <laughs> and Scotty said, "Man, that's an extra five dollars in gas." <laughs> Okay, so there's this tree, and then there's the other tree, and then there's the other tree, but there's lights up there, too, so hopefully they're working on those up there. And oh, Debbie's the neighbor good. over here. They have these beautiful walnut trees, I guess, and he said it just devastated them. Devastated destroyed them. them. Yeah. Gosh. Okay, so what are we doing? We're just going to go up to Pat's, but just get a little closer with the truck. Um, and then uh, I'll get out and help. Uh, I didn't ask the gentleman's name that's doing it, um, okay. but he's from the fire department. Okay. The, sorry, guys, we have so much stuff here. And see how he had these beautiful plants all yeah. there, so it just took out his corner. It took out one of his memorial trees, huh? That's so sad. up to the next one. Can you do the windshield wiper so they can see? Oh, here we are. Oh, that's some big stuff. It's really big and they've been working on it for a while now. I thought he said he had it cleared. Oh, is he talking on it? Okay. I'm not sure what they're doing. Yeah, because the pole came down. You know, I have to say that's really cool of Pat to uh, the neighbor here on this road to be out here doing this because his house is like three houses back and uh, for him to get out, he just goes the other way. This just leads to the campground. So he really has no reason to do it other than just being a really good human being and uh, caring about other people. So very nice of him. So they just told them to move back again. So I'm thinking that they're getting closer to that wire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he did not expect to do man be doing manual labor today. Oh, bless his heart. What was the neighbor guy up there uh, by us? Jo Joe, John? Uh, John. Is it John? Yeah. He's up there on his bike. He's like, Oh, was that him? <laughs> He's like, oh, Yeah. I know. Did you ask him how our trailer the, was? The, 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 uh, the uh, chainsaws are going so loud you can't hear anything. Yeah. But he, but he didn't go like, ah! okay. <laughs> So we must okay. be okay. Okay, well, hopefully. This guy has to sharpen his blade or grab another saw. Okay, so what's going on it. with those wires? Uh, they're just concerned that when, when part of that limb comes up, that yeah. it might go up. So you think it's going to affect us sitting here? Uh, they're no. loose here, but when that tension it, comes off I, of I, it... No, because the pole over here is gone. Okay, okay. So I don't think it's really going to go up as much as they're thinking. Well, I think we're safe. I just had to get some water. Well, that's a lot of stress on that one, those two. That's why they keep telling us to stand back. Yeah. Thank you for working hard to get us home. I appreciate it. Oh, yay, more people. Oh, I'm sure those other guys are tired. I'm tired. Your camper's fine. There's fucking green down all over the place. Is there? Yeah. Coming back in here. He said our, our trailer's so fine. Like, I was on the I river when that happened. Were you? Holy crap. He I says there's the trees down head. everywhere. I mean, So you were like, floating down, then we kind of seen you. Yeah, we were in three boats, and... Uh, it hit and we got on the one shore because the wind was blowing this way so I'm like let's go on that side that way if the trees fall they fall away from us 
but it was oh my six gosh. to seven mile an hour winds. We, we yep. came down here and I mean that I want to say that just went down and yeah. I'm like hold because it went from like this to rain to storm and then all I could think was my freaking awnings out. Luckily it's a okay. it's it it did it, it's okay. Oh yay! Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. you. Okay. Thanks, John. Wow, so they were the ones that were on the rafts out there. I was praying for them, man. Yeah. I That really worried me that they'd get tipped over and not be able to get back in that raft. He's done it. For, he's been here for 10 years, so that's, like, yeah. that's what he said. He goes, he knew to move to the other side or whatever. So he was saying trees are down all over the campground. Oh, boy. Our, see, and that's what I love about meeting our neighbors. Yeah. He's like, everything is fine there. Thank that just God. put a big ease at my thing, you know. <laughs> I need Okay, watch it. The wire's right here. Yeah, I see that. What'd you think, pumpkin? Devastation. Those were our, those were um, some people that came today. They came today and they they moved twice. They moved from one site to oh, watch the wires. Scotty doesn't see uh, things like that very well. That's why I'm telling him. Um, they had set up this morning, moved to another site, set up, and now they packed up and left. John says that there's trees down everywhere at the park. Oh, they even got that power pole. Oh, oh yeah. Pole. Oh, oh. Yeah, that power pole's leaning. Oh, look at them all. wasn't just in that one section it came right through yeah, see oh look at tree? that look yeah. at that tree <laughs> oh please don't tell me there's another one no because they wouldn't be able to get out of their uh i think he's just turned around. they wouldn't be able to get out of the camp's ground if that was the case I gave enough room over there. Oh no, I? don't get stuck, dude. Oh, you got, it's a four wheel drive. Go down, turn, no, don't go no, forward that no, way. No, 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 I'm no, 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 please don't lock us in here. Come on, there you go, hit it. <laughs> go downhill, dude, oh. just go downhill. Go tell him, babe, please go tell him, please. I do not want to get stuck here. You're gonna get stuck. Well, it's four-wheel drive. Front, a front-wheel drive, right? Four-wheel. Four -wheel. I don't know if it's four-wheel drive. Well, I'd hope that it's something being a rescue. No, it is four-wheel drive. Okay. He just didn't get out. There you go, babe. Drive. Oh, is he getting over for me? Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you so very much, my friend. Is that four-wheel drive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... No! <laughs> have a good day. Yeah, wait, wait. Can you even get under that? Uh, wow, 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 wow. He don't couldn't. you don't you get in there? Don't you get in the ditch? Holy crap, you guys! <laughs> oh wow, this is sketchy. Ain't coming out with a camper until this is clear. <laughs> no, we're not. We're stuck here. <laughs>
fifth wheel. He can't get out. Yeah, I can't get out, so I. We're too I'll tall to get. Now. We're too tall to get out of there. Perfect. Thank you. There's no way we can get out. Alright, so they just stopped us and said they're going to probably making us get out of here, but I don't think we can get out with the wires down. Well, we can't, no. period. No. <laughs> There's no way. Oh, gosh, look at this. Blue dirt thing over there. Yeah, uh, that, <laughs> those were the people that left. Oh, man. They aren't even home. There's stuff's everywhere. Oh, it ripped their awning. Whose awning? The, the trailer back here. It's up on their roof. Oh. <sighs> Look at the trees Man. behind us. Thing. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. How blessed were we! Woo! <laughs> so what do yeah. they call it? Freaking, I'm gonna call it a Karen. <laughs> I'm pissed off freaking something.